Hey, hello, I'm Mars, and today we're going to be looking at the Deluxe M700. Now first, I just wanted to go over the specs of this stunning mouse. It has some nice Omron switches. It's got two side buttons, which are nicely placed where I would grip it if you're palm gripping, which sounds pretty good, just a bit mushy. It's got this nice honeycomb shape, which makes it super light at a 67 gram weight. It goes up to 5,000 DPI. It's got some really nice RGB all over the mouse, onto the bottom and in the middle and on the scroll wheel. Then there's the cable, which is a bit bouncy. It's not that soft and smooth, so it's not as free, but overall it's a nice braided cable instead of a poopy one. Now, I wanted to speak about the pros of this mouse. So obviously, it's nice switches are a pretty big pro. Uh, the honeycomb is pretty nice and the shape I really like. The RGB is really nice and the feet are actually really good and you can get a nice glide. And that was lightly pressing. And I don't have a mouse pad, but this is on my desk and it's pretty good glide. The shape and the build quality, like I put full force on it, no creaking at all. And it doesn't do that weird thing that the super light does at all. You can click there as well. Now I wanted to speak about the cons of this mouse. So this mouse has a pretty big con, the scroll wheel. Like, I know it's only 13 pounds, so it's not meant to be like amazing, but the scroll wheel, I think, needs a bit of work. It feels a bit tight, but I really do like it. It's like tight, but for the price, it's understand understandable why it's not the greatest. Another thing I do think they could have improved on is the USB cable, for it's very not springy at all. I mean, it's a lot better than, I guess, a non-braided cable, but I think that could do some work. It's not that the springiest and not the most free. Now I just wanted to take a quick moment to speak about the software. This software, it took me so long to download. It was crazy, it, it took so long, because it's like four versions of the same software, and then it goes in like Chinese, and I didn't have any clue about it. But then when I finally got it, it it's actually a really good software. So now you can look at this mouse software. It's really, really good for what it is. You can add macros and stuff like that and press like it has this it's like an auto clicker but not really an auto clicker like i'll go to cps right now you have to click this button here and then it triple clicks but then you can drag click with it like this so it just drags clicks very well and then doing the auto clicker is it goes down so you can't get a really good score so you look like that that's pretty good i guess you could call it an auto clicker but i wouldn't really call it an auto clicker now let's speak about the final thoughts on this mouse and if you should buy it or not. Now I think on a budget, which this is very budget, I got it for 13 pounds, this is amazing. Like I would even say it's better than a Model O, because it has better build quality. Like I'm not even joking, this is like a Model O but better. I am honestly blown away by how good it is for how cheap it is and I would definitely recommend this for what it is. If you reached this far in the video, thanks for watching and it would be greatly appreciated if you subscribed and you dropped a like. I, I would really like to hear you guys' thoughts on this mouse. Do you think it's good for the budget or do you think there's something else that's better for this £13 price range? But thanks again. See ya. Bye.